Kate's absence may be related to her husband and the future King of England, William, having an affair. <gasps> oh no, my heart goes out to poor Kate. That wasn't very heartfelt of the late night host on March 13th, but Colbert wasn't going for heartfelt, he was going for laughs, as he was the first American talk show host, in the last one actually, <laughs> to bring up the tabloid fodder that um, Prince William was having an affair. Now let's dish the hot goss. I am ready to spill the tea. And Colbert took it even further than infidelity. <laughs> ha ha, imagine me having an affair. It is to love. There was the bastard child too. Oh, it's my illegitimate son. I've <laughs> knocked up my mistress. <laughs> the... So yeah, last night, March 25th, Stephen Colbert was ready to show some remorse, like the ladies of The View did earlier that day after Princess Kate revealed her cancer diagnosis on March 22nd. When I made those jokes, uh, that upset some people. And even before her diagnosis was revealed. And I can understand that. Yeah, one of those people was Rose Hanbury, the woman who has been accused of having an affair with Prince William. Rose had her lawyer send a legal notice to Colbert to cease all further fabricated statements about an affair that never happened. A lot of my jokes have upset people in the past. And I'm sure some of my jokes will upset people in the future. And I ain't apologizing for those jokes. There's a standard that I try to hold myself to. And that is, I do not make light of somebody else's tragedy. See, I don't know if that's purely just the comedian, you know, being defiant, saying I'm still gonna tell these jokes, even if it, you know, it ends up a person ends up having cancer after they tell that joke. Um, or I wonder if there's like the legal ramifications too. Like if he says sorry, or if he admits fault, that could open himself up to a lawsuit from Rose. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, either way, uh, Colbert is careful not to apologize for those jokes. Any cancer diagnosis of any kind is harrowing for the patient and for their family. Colbert really doesn't say that much at all in that statement. It's about a two minute statement. And yeah, he like talks about you know cancer in general and the effects it can have on a family. But he really isn't talking about telling jokes. He does kind of skirt around it a little bit, which I'm surprised. But he does express empathy for the princess as well. I and everyone here at The Late Show would like to extend our well wishes and heartfelt hope that her recovery is swift and thorough. But yeah, what do you think of him not actually apologizing for those jokes? Do you think it was purely, you know, comedian or do you think there's an element of, yeah, he didn't want to open himself up to a lawsuit from Rose? I think we all know who the alleged other woman is. Say it with me. The Marchioness of Chalmondeley. 